Welcome back to Tech Made Simplified. Today I'm going to do a test in Cinebench with my Intel Core i5 4670K. And uh, this is at 3.4 gigahertz in the BIOS. And you can see my clock speeds right there. And uh, right now I have those uh, C states enabled so the voltage jumps from 0.0, .0 and 0 0.01 all the way up to um, about 0 0.8 and uh, the voltage that I set on here is about 0 0.9 and it should jump from about 0 0.89 to 0 0.912 or something like that or it might be locked at 0 0.912 or something like that and uh, this is at 3.4 gigahertz locked so uh, the original clock speeds at 3.8 but I will be uh, testing that uh, next. So let's start the, the bench. And real temp is open too to uh, mon monitor the, the temps. And again, this is at 0 0.9 volts. Stock voltage is around uh, 1.06 to 1.08. And you guys will see that in a little bit after this test. With the clock speed at 3.4 gigahertz and the core voltage at, at uh, 0 0.9 volts, uh, the temperatures aren't that bad. And the fans on my uh, heat sinks, which, which is the Cooler Master H, uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, the fans don't even ramp up at all. So it's not noisy at all. Okay, and there goes the score. Okay, next I would, I'm gonna test the um, auto setting or out of box setting, AKA stock settings. So uh, stay tuned. This is Cinebench 11.522 again. And this is with uh, all stock settings. Voltage is at auto settings. And the multiplier is at um, auto which is it turbos up to 38 on the CPU and let's start the test again you can see how the temperatures are uh, a little bit higher than the 3.4 gigahertz that I had before. And the voltage ha has jumped up to uh, 1.1. So it's, it's a lot higher, 1.152. It does generate a lot more heat and the hyper, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo is fans are blowing pretty hard and I can actually hear it there it goes now it's done and that there goes the score uh, I could I could actually get better scores if I actually customize the um, the multiplier and the voltage uh, it seems to be uh, throttling back or not f using the cores to its full potential or uh, some of the cores into its full potential so um, auto settings is uh, okay if you're not you don't really care about maximum performance but if you want maximum performance it's better if you go into the UFI to uh, tweak the the multiplier and the voltage and uh, the motherboard that I have right here is, is the ASUS Z87 Griffin uh, Micro ATX board and the uh, UFI is really extensive and uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, this is just a test of uh, a test in Cinebench with the 
Intel 4670K, um, underclocked and undervolted, and uh, at stock settings. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.